Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted letting you know about another update that is causing issues on Windows 10. And this is also generating the dreaded error code 0x8007064.3 and the offending update this time is the latest update components for the Windows Update Servicing components KB5001716. Now I'll leave the video I posted yesterday in the end screen if you want to know a little bit more about this update and what it does. Now just to let you know that I have seen a couple of comments on the channel there's also one or two reports doing the rounds online and something I have also tried myself. And just to let you know that this may or may not, as you've seen by the title of this video, this fix that I'm going to show you now may or may not fix the KB5000 1716 failing to install with this error code. So what you need to do if you want to try and resolve this issue, because as I mentioned yesterday, I had tried SFC scan now, update troubleshooter, deleting software distribution folders out of my um, Windows directory itself, a whole lot of different things. And over and above, if, if you can't fix the issue, over and above hiding the update, which you can also do, which I just suggest, just ignore the update, hide it. And if you don't know how to hide the update, I'll leave that video in the description down below. So, but something you can try if you are quite desperate and you don't want the, the update to keep reinstalling because it is a automatic update that will be downloaded and installed automatically. Something you can do is head to your um, your apps, apps and features list because as I mentioned yesterday, it actually installs a small little app as part of the update. And scroll down to near the bottom and this is what we're looking for as mentioned yesterday. Update for Windows 10 uh, based systems. Now what you need to do is just uninstall this. And then what you can try is then you head back to your Windows Update page and you will see you can check for updates because this error would be removed then. You check for updates and then it will download the update successfully once again. Now that's the first part of the story. As you can see today, I did this twice and it worked but if you install the update and then you go check for updates after the update has reinstalled itself. It's going to, in some cases, show you this error message again. And yeah, you can see, uh, if we head back to my update history, um, on my quality updates page, yeah, you can see, if we head into this page once again, you can see I tried it twice again and it failed to install after it installed successfully again. So that's just a small little tweak you can try, is actually uninstall it from the apps, apps and features list in your settings. Let the update reinstall and you can even try and restart your device if it's failing to install. I did that but came back to the same old story where it was failing to install with the error code as mentioned. And yeah, you can see uh, download error once again. And just on a side note as well, your other updates will install properly even if this one is not installing. So just take note of that. So I just wanted to put it out there. But as I say, this may for some and may not for others, including myself, work. So maybe you'll have better luck than me. I have seen a couple of reports doing the rounds and even in the comments where for some users this is working. But anyway, maybe you'll have better luck than me. But just wanted to keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.